Hello, my name is Ed Brown, inventor of the IBAR critical thinking method. I want to give you three ways to lead the pack by becoming a thought leader. I would love to tell you that I came about the idea surrounding thought leadership and subject matter expertise on purpose. That I'm so brilliant that I came about this magically, but I can't. Like most people, I found my way to this discipline through setbacks and failure. Over the last 20 years, my journey as an academic artist has, has so many twists and turns that you would have to be either crazy or in love with your work to keep going. Suffice to say that I love my work. And maybe, maybe I might be a little crazy also. Well, well, the thing about setbacks and failure is that you learn a lot along the way. For every closed door and dead end, you learn a new skill. And I learned it from the ground up. And that's how you can lead the pack. You don't have to go back to school. You don't have everything you need right now. You can create a body of work with what's already there inside you. And this is how you can benefit from my experiences. Right now, you have a lot of ideas, education, and experience that you've gathered throughout the years. Maybe you have begun seeing the fruits of your labor, and maybe you haven't. But if you're like most people, you haven't. Right now, you have a better way of doing your job or looking at the world. But you merely keep it to yourself. If no one asks you for your opinion, you don't give it. But imagine, if you were able to hone in on a problem within your profession, solve it, and create a body of work around the solution, you become the go-to person in your profession. I developed the IBAR critical thinking method so that you could do just that. However, the bigger issue is what will you do with all those ideas, education, and experience? And if you don't begin documenting, packaging, and marketing now, what will happen? Do you know how influential and immortal you can be? You know, you heard it. Yes, I said immortal. Once you begin documenting, packaging, and marketing your knowledge, it'll be here long after you're gone. Okay, okay, you don't believe it. Think about it in these terms. The New Testament of the Holy Bible was written nearly 2,000 years ago. The works of William Shakespeare is over 400 years old. And Charlie Chaplin's movie, The Kid, is 95 years old, and Chaplin has been dead since, I don't know, 39 years ago. Your body of work is a reflection of you and will never die. That's if you begin creating it now. All right, okay. Okay, I got it. I'll get to the point. Here are three ways to lead the pack and become influential and phenomenally successful in your profession. One. Google anyone in your profession that you respect. There will be a few who have articles, books, videos, or podcasts that they've created, but a large majority of the people in your profession in high positions have no body of work to speak of. Just imagine the advantage you will have when you put on your resume or become the go-to person that you have books, articles, videos, and podcasts that you've created and it solves a problem within your profession. Two, since most people don't have a body of work, you can jump ahead within your profession. You will create your own intellectual property with assistance from a staff of people there to facilitate your original and authentic work. It's like having your own research and publishing company. And third and last, once you begin distributing your work throughout your profession, you set yourself up as a speaker or subject matter expert. This sets the stage for you to have more career options from the work you've created. Okay, there you have it. Influence, immortality, and legacy. I could go on about the benefits of becoming a thought leader, but I want you to let it sink in for a minute. If you feel this might be an opportunity that you want to take, let's talk more. Review the contact information at the end of this audio or click the link below. I look forward to talking more about it with you. Oh, and by the way, I know you know someone who might be interested also. You don't have to go it alone. Bring your friends.